Hey there, Susan Winter. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If you're a subscriber, love it. Thanks for coming back. I am reading more of your video requests. And if you need to send them, go to the contact page, susanwinter.net. The very bottom underneath all the agents and the contact numbers is a box that says Q&A video request. This one is about how to let go of hope when there's no hope left. And that could apply to many of you. So here we go. And I am going to read this question. Catherine writes, Dear Susan, I'm a 26 year old female, forever single. I was focused on my studies and career and started dating late. I met someone while I was abroad short term and for the first time in my life, I felt wanted, desired, and this feeling was reciprocal. How do I stop hoping when there's no hope for us? How to tell for a beginner if it's love or lust, the result of manipulation or a seduction skill? Wow, this is rich. Okay, firstly, Catherine, thank you for this. <laughs> okay. Not to make light of it. I know it seems like you're forever. Oh, you're, you're 26. Okay. You're not forever single. You're not 86. If you were 86 and writing, you know, Susan, I've never had a relationship my whole life. I think my time is passing me by. I'd say, well, <laughs> you could be onto something there. But Catherine, you're 26. You are not unlike many of my clients. I work with clients all over the world. And there are certain nationalities that very late in life explore their sexuality, pass their PhD, into their thirties are still virgins, have never been in love before, have never allowed themselves time. People in graduate programs and PhD programs and accelerated courses don't have time for a dating life. They don't. If you're really, really focused, it's pretty darn hard. And for some people, they're not capable of focusing on the demands of these advanced degrees and try online dating or meet people. So you had your first experience. For a newbie, it's kind of all of the above. Beautiful that you felt wanted. Keep that feeling. Beautiful that you felt desired. Keep that feeling as well put it into your prototype of what you want to feel in your next relationship. Now, when you say it's hopeless, I'm assuming that's distance or the person's not incentivized to get together with you here, wherever you are. It was a just one-time thing for them. They were there in the moment and not able. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they're married. I don't know if there was somebody else. I don't know. And so much of what happened, is it manipulation, blah, blah, blah. Those things I can't answer unless I'm working with you. And that's why I urge so many of you to just book a session. Don't wonder and wait, get it off your chest. I can figure it out when I hear the dialogue, but in a one-way conversation just with this, I can't get all of it. So let me try some different scenarios. First love, feels like the biggest love you've ever felt. It is the most open you'll ever be, really. As adults, we struggle mightily to get back to that place of innocence. Not easy to do. We try to forget all the baggage, all the red flags, the things that you didn't see, couldn't see, and just get swept up in it. Is it love? It's the blush of first love, first beautiful sexual union, first real meeting of the hearts and souls. It's real for you your definition of love will change in time. But right now, it's the biggest thing you've ever known. And because of that, comparatively, it has blown itself off the charts. The first time experience, no ego boundaries, nothing, nothing to protect you. You're just out there. And maybe they were too. Maybe they seduced you. Maybe it was a game. What if it was? 
Did you get to feel amazing? Did you love the ride and were willing to pay the price? Oftentimes in love, or if you're doing duty dating, or if you're doing you know, relationship information for yourself and your own kind of recon, like I've done, you will enter a dead end or jump off a cliff and go, yep, hope I can swim. You'll try it. We all need resilience. That's imperative for all of us. So what you know of love today, that's your high water mark. It will change. The deeper love, the greater love is not so much the lust and infatuation and short-term connection that people are able to make. It is in the long-term, long-standing, be there with you no matter what kind of love. And so many people will tell you who've been in long-term relationships that it gets, you know, same body, same person. It, it's not as exciting as it was in the beginning. Okay. It's exciting in a different way. It's deeper. It gets richer. It gets more solid. There aren't as many highs and lows. Okay. But it's more solid and it's more grounded and it's more unified. So honor what you had accept that it was beautiful for you, move on from that design, keep the component pieces that you liked, bake them into your prototype for your next partner. The way that you stop hoping and dreaming for something to happen when there is a person who is either unwilling or unable, which I'm assuming is going on here, is that you accept it, okay? Not possible. If you absolutely know, it's impossible. Have you tried? If you said, look, I really like you. I want to work this out. Can we do that? And if they say, I can't, I won't. Oh, too hard. They start with that. That's enough. Then you make peace with it. You say, okay, get the gem. All of you, I want you to grab that gem. Get the gem inside that experience. Grab onto that with both hands. It's the only, only, only way you are going to make it out with a plus. You got to get something positive out of this otherwise very painful experience from where you stand now. And again, you're not single forever. Okay, you're 26. Oh my God. <laughs> so take it from one who's been there and been around the twists and the turns. There are more to come. Keep the parts that are beautiful. Build a new dream. This is when, go look at my merch store. Keep the dream. Replace the person. Get yourself a mug, a t-shirt, a baseball cap. I don't care what. Go get it. It's to Go to my website, susanwinter.net, or just follow the description down below. I urge you, get these little things. I don't care if it's a tote bag or whatever we've got. We've got a lot of stuff. Remember that phrase, I'm going to keep the dream, which is what they created in your mind, this beautiful image of unity, and I'm going to replace the person, okay? They were in a place and a time. Thank you. Thank you for that beautiful message, Catherine, and all of you first-time people in love, people trying to get rid of the hope because you want it to last, and so you think if you cling to the hope that maybe it can be willing to cut the energetic ties to move forward and replant those seeds of what you want in a new relationship that's waiting for you, okay? We move forward, future forward, eyes future forward. Thank you, everyone. SusanWinter.net, if you want a consultation, check out the Dating Games Guide. Check out Older Women, Younger Men Dating Games Guide. They, or they don't do the games. The Older Women, Younger Men Guide. And I'll be there for you as a part of the community or the discussion thread. All my material on command as you want it. And uh, take a look at the website for the other packages and products that I have. Thank you, everyone.